Best Mac Studio for Lightroom The Mac Studio sincerely gives the whole thing I have been asking for and surely waiting for from Apple for years. An amazing, six Thunderbolt 4 ports with the M1 Ultra version, four with the M1 Max, an SD card reader in front of the machine, USB ports, an HDMI port, 10 Gbps Ethernet. The Mac Studio is powerful, with the Moan Max model providing a 10-core CPU with eight overall performance cores and two effectivity cores, and the M1 Ultra model doubles that, a 24-core, 48-core GPU, 16-core, 32-core neural engine, 400 GB, 800 GB memory bandwidth, and RAM beginning at 32 GB, 64 GB implied this computing device will fly. Even although the greatest Lightroom Classic or Capture One catalogs. Oh, and that reflects its magnificent for Lightrooms too. So, let's get to know more about the best Mac Studio. The layout and all over design of Mac Studio are simplistic and seem very tons like a large Mac Mini which is something I'd earlier had my eyes on. If you already have any different Apple devices, then maybe the format won't be surprising for you somehow. Because the reality is that Apple's notion to put in a built and audio system right here is liked by means of these of us who may no longer splurge on the new studio display, even though I'm now not awaiting this audio system to be excessive quality. Simply put, it's a device that's put collectively flawlessly for creators who demand pace and reliability. There was once greater to Apple's announcement a few days in the past, particularly a refreshed iPad Air and much anticipated studio display. And no, this one doesn't price $5,000. And it doesn't price more for a stand. Well, sort of. So, if I talk about the iPad. So, the fifth generation iPad Air takes the internals of the modern iPad Pro and brings them into an extra approachable tablet. Upon first glance, this appears almost the same as an 11-inch iPad Pro. It has the equal M1 chip, and it even has a USB-C connector. Finally, it has two assists with 5G connections and works with the Apple Pencil, Magic Keyboard, and Smart Keyboard Folio. So what's different? Here I tell you the details, so you can consider what will be best for Lightrooms and for overall performance. Well, specifically the display. Missing is the Pro Motion technology, which means you're restricted to 60 Hz. The brightness is additionally a bit lower, at 500 nits max, as a substitute for 600 nits on the 11-inch iPad Pro. There's additionally simply a single digital camera, a 12-megapixel broad camera. So you're lacking out on the 10-megapixel ultra-wide camera from the iPad Pro. But you in all likelihood shouldn't be the usage of your iPad Pro to take pics anyway because let's be truthful that appears ridiculous. Pull out your iPhone 13 alternatively and get to work. And along with this, how we can forget, there are different other factors missing too, like Face ID, a 16 GB RAM upgrade, and stereo audio recording. But these are minor differences. The iPad Air is an ideal complement to the Mac Studio, particularly with apps like Lightroom, Photoshop, and Quick Capture One available. So, if talk about apparently, the studio display has been something that Mac lovers have been longing for years, and the weight is not wasted at all. I have experienced it so far, and yes, it's on my best consideration list. And yes, here I would like to tell you there are a few head scratchers for me that made me barely reluctant. First, whilst the tilt adjustable stand is blanketed, or VS amount, in order to regulate the top of the monitor, you have to pony up a greater $400. Personally, I assume this is a bit pricey. I don't have trouble with the base $1,599 rate point. However, when you go up to $1,999 with the higher stand, it has me hesitating slightly. And I am sure, this is not just in my case, everyone has the same problem, but honestly, this is not as bad as if you wanted to invest something for your passion and profession. So, with a bit of con, here we have come some gorgeous features. First is the front camera, seriously amazing that why extra corporations don't put a front digital camera in their video display units is truly beyond me. Especially with so many of us working from domestic now, having to go out and buy a third-party Digicam choice is simply more hassle. Second, the speakers. While I haven't heard a lot yet, I must tell you what you need more. If there's something like the modern 24-inch iMac speakers, they'll be impressed. Well, I ditch my stereo pair of HomePod minis in my office. And yes, 
Will they be excellent for video conferencing, looking at YouTube videos, and enhancing normal video files? You bet, you will love it hopefully. Third of ports. While I would have cherished to see all four ports be Thunderbolt 4, three of these are USB-C, with a final for Thunderbolt, which connects to your Mac. Still having modern-day ports on a display is a breath of sparkling air for me. It's about time monitors ditch ancient port technology modification and embraces what is the future. After all, when was once the final time you offered a challenging power or any other accent that didn't at least consist of a USB-C adapter in the box? Apple's new Mac Studio has created a completely new type of computer system for the company, providing some insanely effective abilities that ought to be capable to handle something even the most happening photographers and filmmakers can throw at them. All at a rate that begins extensively beneath the Mac Pro line, making it a magnificent value. So, for all I can say, this is considered seriously the best Mac Studio for Lightrooms, but every creator, gamer, or expert has different views according to their own usage and experience. But if you were a professional creator, then this can be a perfect choice if you are looking for Lightrooms. There are various features that you can use to upgrade your work, and it can definitely access you in your future projects. So, according to my opinion, this Mac Studio is perfect for Lightrooms. I hope it will provide you best results. We'll be back soon with another exciting video. Till then, take care, and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.